Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is our seventh Alliance War, and we're going up against Just Do Better. And I decided to record it a little bit sooner than I normally do so you guys can see what I normally do before I choose my team. So as you can see here, I'm looking over the path that I'm going to take, which is path one. You see they didn't put a defender there on a node one. And I'm looking here and I see I have a science five star. Uh, I've got a four star mystic on the uh, poison. And just continuing to scout my path. These are the ones that I'm usually concerned with. I see that cosmic and I'm thinking maybe Hyperion, don't know. And I see two science and the mini is Kingpin. So I don't see a good selection for Corvus. To pick up his persistent charges but since I just recently ranked Corvus up I kind of feel obligated to try him out at least in these few wars uh, now I may not bring him in the next war uh, but he's still shiny and new and so I wanted to still bring him into war but as you'll notice here uh, I do take him up against the mini kingpin but I don't really take him against anyone else. All right, so uh, first node, of course, there was no one there. Uh, I was the first one in uh, to this BG. Uh, now, of course, others are, are here, and I'm going in here. Now, normally I wouldn't have to worry about who this was, but there is now a five-star Electro, which I have to be concerned with. So. Instead of me thinking, well, maybe it could be a Spider-Man, and so I would bring in Corvus, I didn't want to get wrecked by an Electro, just in case. So I brought in Hyperion, mainly because in case they just happened to bring uh, Abomination or something like that, I wanted to be prepared with a, a Poison. Uh, but as you see, it's Rhino, and Rhino is very easy to take out. Now... I'm running suicides because I'm going for a champion in the arena. I'm going to try to pick me up a four-star Emma Frost as well as a three-star Emma Frost. Just because I like collecting. There's no telling when I'll be able to actually rank her up. I have uh, quite a few that will be ranked up before her. Uh, Omega Red, haven't ranked him up yet either. Alright, so we're going in here and it's just a four-star but you see those persistent charges there so that gives me a clue as to who this might be alright and I'm thinking Mephisto and as you can see there I'm thinking should I bring Corvus in uh, and risk it but in the end I went with who I always go with on this poison node and that's Hyperion since he's poison immune and I didn't want to get caught you know having a longer fight than I would have expected and not having a poison immune and just getting chewed up. So Mephisto, I don't fight him all that often, uh, but I do fight him in arena, so I'm still familiar. He's not as bad as when he first came out. Uh, there are a lot more counters and we're more familiar with how to fight him now. Uh, that aura of incineration that he has isn't quite bad now you saw me just started getting hit that's just because oh I don't know I just decided to stop blocking right in the middle of him comboing me. yeah don't know either but that's the kind of stuff that happens to me in Alliance War especially not so much in the other game modes but in Alliance War I'll just stop blocking for no reason at all or I won't block and just start getting hit all kinds of fun things but we still got him down we didn't die it is what it is all right so the next thing that I did here just before I went to bed is I wanted to use up my energy and get myself in position for the next set of fights so I go to sleep after I you know check this out and again I'm thinking that this is a Hyperion here Alright, so now the next day here, I go ahead and 
you know use a, a little small boost you know I had some extras as you see there for the attack boost so I said well let me go ahead and uh, use one of those uh, even though I probably didn't need to and again I could have used Corvus but since I was thinking Hyperion I went with Starkey because he has the better power control and it's Medusa so I'm thinking okay this can be interesting so I did not try to build up a lot of poise charges because I didn't want to give her too much time to build up her furies so as you see I went in she's already almost down she's got her living strands up so I'm not hitting her multiple times now hit her with that heavy just keep stunning and she's down when she can be stunned she is much easier to handle than when she's the boss and uh, or on a, a stun immune so boss or one of the minis like uh, path 9 uh, she can be a pain alright so now we have the last node and it's a bane node it's a five star and I'm looking at that red hulk and I'm thinking okay it could be red hulk but it may not be again we've got an electro so I went in with my Starkey and it was a Spider-Man which is the most common science to find on here but that node is the one that I'm the most concerned with getting uh, caught with an Electro I know there's not a lot of people at the tier that I'm currently fighting at uh, with a five-star Electro but just the threat of having that five-star Electro out there makes me cautious but I could have picked up a persistent charge uh, there with um, Corvus alright so now we've got another five star and again I'm still thinking is this could be that Electro I don't see any science five star on his profile so I'm not sure what to do so I went in with Starkey again and it is Moda and I thought I should have gotten a better clue uh, as I remember he had persistent charges like Mephisto but I didn't remember seeing that so uh, this time I build up my poise charges I don't know if you guys saw my last war but that was the one mistake that I made I didn't build up the poise charges before going in for Bane so this time I did that and I do know how to fight Moda on a Bane node he is annoying and look at that I don't know why I got clipped there but anyway uh, normally I would go in with an Archangel but obviously I didn't have Archangel as an option here uh, if I knew that I had a Modoc I probably would bring Archangel because he makes it just so much easier and my Archangel is a rank 4 but we got him down we didn't die and we got the uh, full bonus alright so now we're gonna fight the mini boss and it is Kingpin now Kim Kingpin can be a pain, but I know how to fight Kingpin, and I actually have fun fighting him. Uh, I'd rather fight Kingpin than Dormammu, uh, although on this note it doesn't really matter. Uh, Starkey can take both of them. But I left all of this in here so you could see the struggle I had, because Corvus, I was thinking, might not be able to take down this rather beefy Kingpin before his charges go out, but I could take out kingpin with my spider-man stark enhance without needing to heal him up but I was like I haven't used Corvus let's see what Corvus can do so I've got that 10% boost on uh, you see I'm doing the medium light medium combo so that I can maximize my damage uh, if you haven't seen my video testing on that uh, it's on my channel and I'm pretty much baiting out his special one I don't want to deal with his special 2 at all, especially on this node, where it's unblockable. Uh, my normal way of handling his special 2 is to wait till it hits me once and then evade. Well, that's not going to cut it on this uh, node, because I'll just get wrecked. So, bait out his special 1 as much as possible, wash, rinse, and repeat. Now I'm looking here and I see that my charges are running low and Corvus without charges well you're gonna see in a minute what his damage is like without having any charges alright 
and so I fire off a special one just so I can get a little bit extra in there. Bait out that special one one more time, and now I'm out of charges. So watch his damage. As you can see, it's not that good at all. This is exactly what I was worried about, uh, why I was not thinking about bringing him in, but I was obligated. I ranked him up to five. I haven't used him in this entire war. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to use him. But other than just using him just so that you guys could see him in Alliance War, I wouldn't have brought Corvus for this particular uh, Alliance War. Uh, instead of him, I would have brought Hulk Ragnarok. Alright, but as you can see, Kingpin went down. And I actually had a good run. I didn't die on this path, so that was good. And in a moment, we will find out how we did in this war. So unfortunately, even before the fight is over, we know that we're not going to win this alliance war. We're not going to get all of our bosses down. Uh, one of our BGs got stopped cold. And they have fully explored and got all of our bosses down. So there's no way we're going to win. But I still wanted to go in here and test Corvus out. So this is the first time I'm actually fighting a Medusa boss with Corvus. So uh, coming up, you're going to see me make a mistake. All right. I got auto blocked and parried. So I took a lot of damage, which put me more or less on the defensive for the rest of this fight. Now, this is what happened. I watched a video and I saw Corvus able to attack her without worrying about the auto block and I forgot that the only way he can do that is if he has the Proxima Synergy and then fires off a heavy. I don't have the Proxima Synergy so I can't do that. So as you see my style towards the end here is the way that it should have been from the beginning and I would have done much better. But now another thing is that because we knew that we weren't going to win the war, you'll notice I didn't heal up, I didn't boost up, I am running heart suicides, and you see there she got me in the corner, there was nothing I could do. Um, I'm not uh, boosted, I didn't heal up, and I don't have any missions completed. So what you're seeing here is Corvus at his, almost his worst and look at what he was able to do still. Even after I messed up, I still took her down by half, you know, roughly. So Corvus is still a beast. I still love him. And if I have to fight another Medusa uh, next time when I know that we have a chance to win, I will definitely boost up, probably turn on full suicide so I have another 30% and I'm pretty sure we will be able to take her down. I have seen videos where he has taken down Medusa bosses in something like 20, 22, something like that hits. All right, so I brought in Hyperion again, not healing him up, but Hyperion is still a beast. And as you can see here, I'm fighting her the way that I know I should fight her. I'm not allowing her to get me in that corner, all right? And I'm intercepting her heavy with my heavy, just like I would fight Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, Hyperion is a very good counter for her. And as you can see there, you can basically punish when she fires off her special. You can punish when she fires off that heavy, but I prefer to do that right there because that doesn't push me into the corner and down she goes so we still got a little bit of a bonus not that it's gonna make a difference in this war but it gave me a little personal satisfaction so to reduce item use when we see the war is not gonna be won we let everybody know so they don't use up their items and as you can see we lost this war uh, good job to just do better uh, I'll take your name to heart we definitely need to just do better as you can see our stats there, we didn't do a very good job. Not a good performance in this war, but hopefully the next war will do a lot better. But that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. If you haven't subbed already, give me a sub. 
And you guys have a blessed day.